The water came up fairly predictably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on Thursday, at about uh, 10 in the morning, uh, it started to change. Instead of uh, moving inches an hour, it started moving feet. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. This is a 500 year flood event. We went ahead and de-energized this up at one o'clock Thursday morning. The whole town of Cedar Rapids went dark. Our comfort levels uh, going away very quickly. Um, it was late into Wednesday night, early into Thursday morning, um, when we realized that there was far more water coming in the building than we thought ever would be imaginable. Rumor came through the crowd that it w they were taking prisoners out of jail. And my first thought was, why on earth they waited so long? I knew he wouldn't leave that island. So seeing it <laughs> is reality of what he was dealing with. When I had called in to see if they needed some assistance, they said that our dispatch um, at Mercy Hospital was um, gaining water. We're going to have to abandon. We're going to have to abandon ship here at Mercy Hospital and move the dispatch up to our office. Yeah, they're going to have to close the ER. It's a foot of water. It's coming bad. You need to call Marion, call State Police, and tell them that effective uh, at 5 p.m. Don't know when. Yeah. The water was coming, and we were getting really close. And by that time, we were evacuating. At the same time, they were evacuating. We were real busy about evacuating the citizens and and uh, taking care of everybody else. That we kind of forgot about ourselves until the water started coming in. I feel a little bit of guilt because I got out. And they didn't. I wasn't affected by the flood in my home, but my friends were. With this entire flood, we didn't lose a single life in the city. Uh, that is amazing to me from what I, what I was able to see in the three days on the water. We were the first ones there. We were there the whole times, and we're still here. Uh, you know, when other people and other agencies leave, we're still here. Uh, we have to live in this community and be a part of it. It's going to be years before we recover. And um, I feel like, you know, if you, you want to look back on your life and felt like you accomplished something, um, this is your chance. It was great to see humanity at its best.